how is your love life your question is how many exes do you have your yours you know when the alcohol is here <laughs> yeah i will be hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel if you are new here thank you so much for stopping by if you're a returning subscriber thank you so so much boo on the channel got an amazing awesome for you amazing things to do and it's an overall lifestyle channel <laughs> so first of all can i just i think you're probably going to see this in i don't know if it's going to be the video before this or the video after this but either or can i just talk about my install done by evans i'm gonna leave his handle in the description below he kills hair installations he's based in brahm so if you need to install your hair whatever please hit evans up amazing quality installs like i did this yesterday and it is still laying like still proper so today i'm going to be answering y'all's questions the questions that you did ask me i put out a poll on that anonymous tip um where you can ask me questions and get to know me i think this is the third get to know me tag that i'm getting yeah that i'm doing first one of this year so yeah i'm going to be looking down on my laptop because this is where i have the your questions which i'm going to be answering i've got my shisha so cheers um so like you're in your art we change guys we change and i've got new subscribers now so i put a poll out of my instagram to ask you questions about getting to know me so i'm here to ask these questions okay. so let's get into the first question i'm not going to make this long guys i literally took quite a few that i haven't i feel like i haven't answered and some that i want to update you on um so yeah let's get into the first question so the question number one is how do you get to work with big brands um i did a video actually uh i'll leave it in the description box below the link to the video so with me what i do is i email brands um also when you post content i always say post relatable content so people who ask me like how do you become a content creator how do you start with content creation or influencing i always say post things on your feed like post just random things if you're buying from mr price post and tag mr price if you're going at to, to polls for example post and tag polls if you're going out and staying at a lodge post and tag that lodge that you're staying at you know just post it so that when brands ask you for relatable content you have content to give out and to show that okay this is the kind of work that i do you know so i did a video i'm not going to go in detail i did a video i'm gonna leave the description in the description box below just watch that video and i go into detail of how i approach brands and how i get to work with with big brands but just in a nutshell how i get to work with big brands i either email them or I post relatable contents and the brand to reach out to me or i email them or send a dm or email them so yeah that's how i get to work with big brands question number two what is your biggest regret i would say my biggest regret is not giving certain people a chance you know like i feel like in my past i was very closed off which i still am but i feel like in my past there's some relationships that i feel like i actually could have given a chance and maybe we could have been far or maybe we could have friendship relationships or love relationships whatever it might be i feel like i could have given it a chance and actually given my all rather um, then to just brush it off and not do anything about it. So that is one of my biggest regrets Another one of my biggest regrets is I don't know for me I always have that thing where I feel like I'm not where I want to be in life and I feel like one of my biggest regrets in the past is not Giving my all in certain things in my life or certain aspects of my life in order for me to be where I would want to be right now Although I'm grateful for where I am. I just feel like we as people we can never be satisfied you know so i just feel like number one not um opening up certain relationships in the past and number two just not giving my all in um my past with regards to things that i could have done in order for me to get me where i want to be today so those are my two biggest regrets i've given you two okay next question is how are you doing you know what funny enough this year i'm actually doing really great like I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm finding my feet finally. 
um, with regards to this life thing because it can get hectic. This life thing can get a lot. Um, so I feel like I'm finding my feet majority of the time. Yeah, so I feel like I am I am in a space where I'm finding my feet and I'm actually good, you know, I'm, I'm, I know which direction I'm supposed to take, which direction I'm going and what I want to achieve in my life. So yeah, um, I'm doing good. I'm doing really good. Next question is how do you study or read the word of God? So what I do is I I read the Bible. So in my Bible, the majority of Bibles, I think, in the beginning they have like um, verses where you can read up if you're feeling down, if you're feeling depressed, or if you're dealing with, um, for example, regret, or if you want to draw closer to God, or whatever the thing. So whatever I wake up and feel like is my mood, I read up on that verse. And then that's, I th then I pray after that. So that's how I study or read the word of God. So I just look in the front of my Bible and whatever I'm feeling that day, I will then open that verse and read up on it and then um, pray about it afterwards. So that's how I read the word of God. I don't sit and read the Bible, like just open and read. That's, that's what I just said is how I read the word of God. Okay, the next question is, do you believe in God? um i would say i think you're a new subscriber or a new um yeah person in my life because my subscribers my day ones know i'm a highly 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 believer um i'm christian i'm anglican to be precise and i really like for me god is i put everything i put god in front of everything in my life so god is my number one um so yeah that's i i really do believe in god i'm gonna answer that question and say i highly highly next highly question god. is do you have any siblings yes i do um so i come from separated parents so from my mom's side we have there's three of us so it's my two older brothers and then it's me i'm the last one from my mom's side and from my dad's side there's three sisters and then my two brothers and then there's me so there's six of us from my dad's side um, so I have in total that is eight siblings. So yes, I do have eight siblings, but from my, my mom and dad together. I'm the only child Okay, so next question is how many kids do you want to have? Um, I think because I grew up alone because I did say in my previous in the previous question I Was brought up alone because from my mom and dad together. I'm the only child. So I grew up alone so I would want to have three kids <laughs> but realistically in this day and age that we're living in two would be great but um realist i like i would love to have three kids the question is how many exes do you have yo 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 how many exes do i have i need to drink to that <laughs> mm -hmm. How many exes do I have? I don't even know how many exes. I'm joking. <laughs> uh, I have three exes. Yeah, I have three exes. Yep, so I have three exes. If that answers your question, I have three exes. Yes, I love you so much, babes. I love you too. Trust and believe. I love you. I love you immensely. Anonymous. I love you. As long as you said I love you, now I love you. <laughs> How is your love life? Yo, guys, you know what? I said I'm going to be very honest with you guys and open with you guys um, this year, especially going on this year. So I'm going to try rather and be honest. So I'm a very closed off person. Even to my friends and family, like I'm very closed off. So I'm trying to be more open. So my love life, honestly, I'm going to actually tell you guys in depth now. So my love life is very like in last year I was a, at a point where I was very down and very at a point where I was just like how am I not single? How am I single? How am I not how do I not have a straight person in my life? How do I not have a person that I'm I'm building a future with, you know? And that thing got me very depressed. That got me very depressed because I feel like at times well with me specifically I have 
my own timing of when i want certain things to happen and when things are not happening at that time or at that age that i'm at i'm just like but god why you know and a certain time and i need to accept the fact that god's plan is not my plan i need to accept the fact that what i want might not happen now but definitely will definitely will happen in the near future or when it's meant to happen and i just also need to trust the process and believe and pray and just have faith and also at the same time work and fix things that i feel like are hindering me from reaching certain goals in my love life you know so, so i'm literally just at this moment my love life is i'm not going to say non-existent but um i'm not let me not let me say i'm not seeing i'm in a relationship so yeah um my love life is <laughs> i don't know how to put it my love life is you know i don't want to say fun because you guys are going to take it in the wrong way my love life is there let me just say my love life exists i'm just gonna put it out there and say my love life exists and then i'm gonna answer this question following that the question is are you single i am single um i am single i'm gonna leave it at that i am single so yeah this question is now following this i'm gonna put this all together because i want you guys to get the whole gist of it and not jumping this question is that i'm gonna um, answer is are you talking to anyone yes i am talking to people I'm going out on dates with people um i'm dating my definition of dating is getting to know people going out on dates talking getting to know each other so yes i am talking to people i'm not gonna say how many but i am talking to next question is what is the mistake you have ever done <clears throat> what is the mistake you've ever done and what did you learn from that mistake um honestly speaking the mistake that i can say i've done is putting my whole trust in people like and i think that's why i've become so closed off because i've been through a lot with people and trusting people and putting my whole trust in a person or in people rather and it's not worked out in my favor but at the same time i say when we grow up we learn and there's things that happen because they're only making you a better person a stronger person opening your eyes so in those situations i'm thankful for because those situations open my eyes to say okay you don't deal with things like this but you deal with things in this way you know for example i'm not going to go into detail but yeah um my biggest regret is putting my trust my whole entire trust in certain people so yeah guys if you've reached the point of this video thank you so so much for watching i'm getting a bit litty like you know when the alcohol is here <laughs> yeah hi booby um but thank you so so much for watching and i will definitely catch you on my next video thank you so so much for 740 subscribers i love you guys so much like thank you so much for riding with me it's been two years thank you so so much for the, my day ones who have been there for me with me riding this this ride this train i appreciate you guys thank you so so much guys for watching i'll have to see you on my next video